Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights and we're looking at the Tashkent Grand Slam Abe Uta in this video takes the gold in the under 52 kg category now she had four matches unfortunately in the final her opponent uh, couldn't compete possible injury there so she goes up against the Mongolian here and then the Korean and then a Brazilian and a nice, uh, nice little bit of judo, a nice bit of newaza, and a nice ippon uh, in her second fight. Anyway, here she is against the Mongolian, pressuring like usual, looking for her big throws as she does. There's her nice uchimata that she does. But this first fight was definitely her hardest. The Mongolian judoka trying to get it to the ground quite a bit and ends up being a bit of a shiro battle, to be honest. Not the most exciting uh, first match of the day for Abi Uta. And here we see the Mongolian going down to the ground, looking for a bit of Nawaza. I don't think she thought she could throw Abe on the feet, so was trying to take it to the ground quite a lot. But here we see Abe, you know, staying active, going in for her Sode Surikomi Goshi. A little bit of Ashiwaza there. And then... Eventually the Mongolian gets her third Shido. So probably not the start that Abu Uta would like, but uh, three Shidos and she's into the next round. So much more exciting fight uh, here in the quarterfinal for Abu Uta against Park from Korea. Ends with a nice little bit of Ashiwaza by Abu Uta. And Park, definitely the taller fighter in this matchup. And Abe, she likes to go in like her brother with a one-sided Osotogari. It's kind of interesting that she's uh, mimicking her brother's techniques so much. I don't think there's a technique that she does that he doesn't. Anyway, a nice uh, attempt by the Korean here, but... I'll be showing her great defense as always. Actually, if that was gold on score, it might have might have been a point. You never know these days. And one thing that Abe is definitely adding to her game these days is a nice little bit of Nawaza, uh, which you'll see in the final. Oh, sorry, not the final, the semi-final. The final, as I said, uh, didn't take place due to injury. I see a nice little Osotogari attempt here. Didn't quite have control over the top but staying active which is important and Park doing well you know um, getting close against Abe Uta here not too far from a score and now Abe is up two Shidos Park's got the lead so she needs to turn it on now goes in for her Sode Surukomi Goshi kind of mixes it in with a bit of a a trip at the end there, like a harai goshi or something. Tries for a bit of newaza. So under the pump now, less than two minutes to go. Up two shidos, what do you do? And she's just going for it. She knows 100% what she has to do. Has to attack. Has to look active. So gripping and going. Pushing her opponent down, looking for the Nawaza. And Park is not liking this now. Abe is turning on the heat. And this eventually leads into a nice bit of Ashiwaza. So here we have fighting for the sleeves. Abe breaks and then hand around the back, but goes in straight with the Kosoto and flat on her back. Ippon. Park will be a little bit disappointed with that. But a good fight nonetheless. And next up the semi-final, which ends up being Abe Uta's last match of the day. And it is against the Brazilian. So I do think Abe gets really lucky here. Goes down for what looks like a bit of a kataguruma and then I mean you could almost give that a wazari, but I presume they're in Nawaza by now. And so Abe looks to lock something up up tight before exiting with the leg, pushing against the thigh. 
you would expect. That's probably why the leg doesn't come out, because she's not pushing against the thigh. But who am I to give advice to Abe Uta? Who am I? Anyway. So this matchup doesn't go too long. Looking for an Osoto, looking for a Sode. Going off the sleeve, which he likes to do. So we're taking with the Nuchimata there. And it's in this sequence here. Abe pressuring, you know, making them stand back up. Got the sleeve a nice Ochigari, similar to her brother. Fakes it again. Breaking the grip, going for Ashiwaza at the same time. And the Brizuin goes down, but Abe is onto an arm. She's onto an arm quick. But Mate is called. And then in the next sequence, over the edge of the mat, Abe brings her down again. Looking for that arm again. Kind of got a, a little hint of things to come from before. And a nice armbar there. Ippon. Anyway, as I said, uh, the final. The Mongolian couldn't compete, so... Uh, Abe wins, gets the gold, no contest here. So stay subscribed, guys. Got a few more videos coming. Nagayama and Armball, and I'll do some highlights later on. So stay tuned. See you later.